you are the acting assistant secretary for border and immigration policy at DHS. Is that right? That is right, Senator. So it's your role then to, to help formulate and drive policy and implement those policies at, at the department. Have I got that right? Correct. So um, help me understand the administration's policy. Are you trying to stop illegal immigration anymore? Or have you given up on that? Sir, we are committed to enforcing the laws that Congress has enacted at the border. And as I noted in my uh, testimony, you know, we are expanding our use of expedited removal as we prepare uh, for uh, the end of Title 42, particularly for recidivist um, uh, border crossers. Uh, we okay, so that sounds like a yes. Committed. So that's, that's a yes. You're, you're still trying to stop illegal immigration? It's hard to tell, but that it's, you're telling me yes? That is correct, sir. Okay, so let's just talk about a few of your policies since you're in charge of policy, and you can tell me which of these has been effective in stopping illegal immigration. Okay, ending construction of the border wall. Has that been effective in stopping illegal immigration? Well, I would defer to my colleague from Customs and Border Protection, but my understanding is that barriers on the border serve to slow immigra uh, irregular migration, not stop irregular migration. But so, okay, so you're saying that the border wall is not effective. So we should just tear the whole thing down. The border wall is effective in rerouting migration, and it is effective in slowing the pace at which migrants can cross the border, which is particularly important in urban and suburban settings. In rural areas, you know, what we have found is it is uh, still fairly easy for migrants to make holes okay. in the walls. Okay, so interesting. Uh, so stopping construction of it, though, hasn't ended, hasn't slowed illegal immigration. Um, how about uh, terminating the Remain in Mexico policy, which you've tried to do? Has that stopped illegal immigration or slowed it? Sir, as you know, we are in the process of re-implementing uh, the MPP program as part of the Yeah, because you're order. under court order to do so, but you've tried as a matter of policy to end it. So was that successful in slowing illegal immigration? Sir, as our secretary noted in his prior testimony, you know, his view is that the MPP program poses unjustifiable costs uh, on migrants and uh, illegally restricts their access uh -huh. to the asylum system. Yeah, okay. How about, uh, how about ending our safe third agreements? In, with Northern Triangle countries. Has that been successful in stopping or slowing illegal immigration? Well, I would defer to my colleague from the State Department in terms of these international agreements, um, but you know, only one of those agreements was uh, even starting to be implemented prior to Title 42. And, and have we seen 42, a decrease in illegal immigration since you eliminated them? Well, I think what you've seen, sir, is the impact of Title 42 on our, our border crossings. Oh, okay, since you mentioned Title 42. Has, has the attempt to rescind Title 42, has, has that been successful in slowing illegal immigration? You know, Title 42, I think, has had a really uh, interesting effect on migration in that, you know, because of the number of repeat uh, border crossers we see, it has actually inflated our numbers at the border. I think, you know, what you've You're also saying that the Title 2 restrictions have increased in illegal migration immigration? To Are you saying that the Title 42 restrictions have increased illegal immigration? Is that I, your testimony? I think that the data is clear that uh, Senator Johnson showed earlier that once Title 42 restrictions were put in place, we've seen an actual increase in migration from Mexico in particular, and that's because of the lack oh, of wow. consequences. So, de so eliminating it will, will then, you think, decrease the amount of illegal immigration? I think over time, once we start reimposing significant immigration consequences on people at the border through our use of expedited removal, particularly for single adults and particularly oh, wow. for those from Mexico, you're going to see it decrease. Over wow. Time. That is news. That is news, ladies and gentlemen, that this administration's position, you still clearly want to rescind Title 42, and you think that rescinding it will decrease illegal immigration at the border. So let's just talk about the facts here. Last year alone, alone, DHS experienced a record 1.7 million border crossings. More than 2 million unauthorized migrants crossed the southern border during the last calendar year. And FY22 to date, there have been 245,390 illegal crossings in just the Rio Grande Valley and 195,289 in Del Rio. The number of single adults crossing in these areas is up 75%. Why is it up? Because of all of the policies that we've just talked about. Your policies are single-handedly 
leading to an explosion of illegal immigration at the border, and yet you're sitting here and telling me that border walls have nothing to do with it, that Title 42 will lead to a decrease in illegal immigration, that eliminating the Safe Third Agreements have nothing to do with the surge. Good heavens, this is just remarkable. All right, let, let me ask you something else. Last week, DHS released a memorandum that lays out your six-part plan to address the current by the way, what would you call what's happening at the border? Is it a crisis? I believe we're facing significant challenges at the border, sir. Challenges. Uh, is it a problem? I think there are parts of the border where we have seen uh, particularly problematic uh, flows. Problematic flows, parts of the border. But it's not a crisis. It is a challenge, sir. <laughs> okay. Let the record reflect that the witness does not think that this is a crisis. I'd hate to see what a crisis would be. I mean, who could, who could possibly imagine? All right. I assume you played a role in, in drafting this plan. Um, let's look at some of the prongs of this plan. You want to bolster the capacity of non-governmental organizations to receive non-citizens after they've been processed by CBP and are awaiting the results of their immigration removal proceedings. You want to increase CBP processing efficiency in order to address overcrowding at Border Patrol stations. I have to be honest with you, as, as I look at this, it looks like an attempt to memorialize your efforts to help as many illegal immigrants get into the country as possible. Sir, the third pillar of the plan is our efforts to impose consequences on those who try to enter the country. Uh, of which you have a demonstrated track record of doing precisely nothing of any consequence. You have presided over the most unbelievable explosion of illegality at the border in American history. And now what you're proposing looks like ways to turn this mass immigration into mass amnesty. Sir, with all due respect, I think that Title 42 is not an immigration measure. It is a public health authority. Well, you just told us and a minute ago that it would, withdrawing it would decrease illegal immigration. Look, with all due respect, nothing you have said here is remotely credible. If you think that withdrawing Title 42 will decrease illegal immigration, I mean, I invite you to have that discussion with the members of, the, of this committee, maybe particularly on the Democrat side. I think they'd be fascinated to hear that. I mean, I'm, believe me, I'll, I'll help them. I'm happy to talk about your testimony today. I'll be telling everybody about it. But you, you have single-handedly, single-handedly forced on this country a mass crisis that is endangering children, that is leading to an avalanche of drugs in my state, that is increasing criminality. And for you to sit here and tell me that eliminating Title 42 is a solution and that nothing you have done has had any consequence and that border walls aren't effective and that third safe agreements aren't effective and remain in Mexico isn't effective. Frankly, sir, you have no credibility whatsoever and neither does the administration that you work for. What you do have, though, is responsibility for everything that's happening at the border. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.